Hey everyone, Stephen here from Unhappily Ever Now, and today is day two of my four-part video breakdown of the self-titled debut EP. Today I'm going to be talking about second song, Our Time Was Taken. Now, I will try my best to keep things a bit shorter than the first video, which I had to, you know, get into more of a breakdown of the premise and concept of the band, as well as the title track, so... As far as the second track goes, uh, I'm going to say refer to the first video first to have more of an understanding of the basic concepts and themes and my approach to the song structure, lyrics, and things like that. So, having said that though, to get more into Our Time Was Taken, I can tell you that, um, honestly, fundamentally, it started with just the tremolo guitar part, and I just kept having this line, our time was taken, pop into my head. And, you know, as far as the song goes, again, um, the themes I reference. The sense of losing so much along the way. Family, friends, pets, colleagues, jobs, relationships, partners. Um, I like to think that this song is a continuation of where the title track left off, and I do think that the lyrical content, if you look at unhappilyevernow.com, the lyrics, this is pretty straightforward as far as what I'm going for here, but I do invite everyone to take from this what you feel. Um, now, now, you get into the words and the meanings behind them, I'm not going to get too much into backstories or inspirations or influences or anything other than to say there's a very strong sense of a sense of loss, a sense of losing our time with someone or something. Um, this song is, again, picking up where the title track left off. It's more so delving into maybe a specific example of the themes and concepts. Now this, if you look at it, it is um, definitely a breakdown of, you know, an ebb and flow and back and forth between two partners. And, you know, it continues with the themes and concepts I introduced in the title track, but this one definitely touches on more so sense of losing that place in time, not having a chance to say goodbye and um, as far as the song structure, I feel I use that to get into that at a deeper level. If you really take a look at everything and how I break it down, you know, I have the first verse from one partner's perspective. And then, you know, I feel as though those verses are very melodic, they're very flowing, and frankly, they're very poetic in my opinion. And... You know, uh, you know, the music goes a long way with that, but I can say, I, you know, I thank Maria V very much for helping me in a time of struggle to come up with the melodic, you know, flow, the vocal melodies, the, the meaning that, um, you know, that kind of coincided with my vision. Um, all I really had to start with was that line, our time was taken, I very much had a concept behind this with the sense of the partner, the partner explaining, describing what they were going through. But honestly, in meeting Maria V, um, I got to know a bit about her and her history. So what wound up happening is this was really supposed to be from one person's perspective, but I truthfully was... Um, able to gain a lot of perspective on my own personal experiences and this became something bigger than what I thought it would be. And that ultimately wound up being mm, kind of getting two perspectives um, and that does tie in part to what I learned from Maria. So, you know, you have one partner's perspective in one verse and then the other verse is the other partner's perspective. 
as far as the song, original song structure goes there. Um, and those are very flowing, very melodic. The time, like, there's, like, almost this expression of, like, a feeling of what the time felt like, a reflection on the time. And then that gets torn apart, and you'll hear that transition with the line, our time was taken, flowing into the pre-choruses. Um, you know, in those pre-choruses, that timekeeper, again, like the title track, it's taken away, the hi-hats are taken away, it shifts from this beautiful flowing into a 5-4 time, it feels very kind of erratic, There's, the, the hi-hats are gone, um, you know, it's exploring that sense of um, time being torn apart, a rough transition, but ironically, that is the time frame in which the vocals are essentially agreeing to disagree. Those two voices are agreeing to disagree in a unified voice during that time of feeling torn apart. And that's the irony, in a sense, to the song is, you know, it goes from first verse into that pre-chorus. Then that second verse, from the other voices, the other person's perspective, back into the pre-chorus. And... What's interesting is to have it go into that third verse, which is also a unified voice, but it's, again, kind of agreeing to disagree. And, you know, for it to then flow right into that bridge, it's sort of a call and response, but it's predominantly the one partner's perspective. It is, again, a reflection on what happened, what could have been. But, you know, that, you know, that third verse touching on, like, I thought we would always be, you know, I thought that this relationship was always going to be, and both of them are saying that, both of them are reflecting on that, but that bridge acknowledging that they both must let it go, they both have to move on, um, but with, um, you know, what you'll see in the, in the, to go back a minute here, in the chorus is the chorus is very much the one voice's perspective, it's acknowledging that Yes, we've reflected, all that's happened just happened, but it was destructive, it was painful, it was heartbreaking and gut-wrenching, and that's where the chorus of our time was taken, is really just screaming and venting about that. And that voice, you know, comes up during those choruses, but it's the prominent voice in the outro section, reflecting on, you know, like, how, how could you do this, though? How could you do this, um... You made all this pain. You took this away from us. And where is our goodbye? So, you know, and then it flows right back. You know, that, that bridge section is very melodic and flowing. But slams right back into that outro section, which is very much that chaos. Again, that 5-4, the chaos. Instead of a voice screaming over it now, though... I'm sorry, the unified voices, you have like this guitar screaming um, to express that emotion. It's not that unified um, perspective of saying like, hey, I know why you left my side, you stole our time. It's just, now this guitar, there's no voices. There's n It's just this guitar screaming emotion. But emphasizing that sense of, you know, something's taken away. And, you know, again, like in the title track, um, I can say that those pre-choruses and the outro to this song are emphasizing that, you know, it shifts from that melodic sound, that melodic flowing sound of the six into those sections of 5-4. And it feels uncomfortable, it feels off, it feels like something isn't right. And again, that is very much the point here, is to emphasize that during the pre-chorus and during the outro. When it throws back into 5-4, you know, something feels off. Um, so, I guess you could say that, you, to recap the song, it's, again, going from the sense of, like, a, ref a sense of flowing time and reflection, but then this time was taken, the time is drastically shifting into something else, but yet in a weird unified voice. Um... And that happens a few ways at different times throughout the song. But then to, you know, have those different perspectives, to have those different sounds, 
and there's different transitions helps to emphasize all of that in different ways. And, you know, again, like I said, this song is pretty straightforward in its content, its lyrical content, what's going on here. This uh, perspective shift from one partner to another than a unified perspective, but maybe one's reflecting differently than the other, and then the prominent voice just reflecting on, like, hey, we didn't have a chance to say goodbye. And, you know, again, like I said, the lyrical content, I feel is straightforward, but I want everyone to take from it what it says to you. Like, what, what does it say to you? How does it speak to you? And, you know, when you refer back to my first video, again, I'm talking pretty generically in a lot of ways about the sense of loss, loss of family, friends, pets, colleagues, jobs, just any kind of relationship we have in our lives. And this is a specific example of one of those kinds of relationships, but it's something I think we can all relate to in our own way. So that's how, in a nutshell, how I'm exploring, continuing to explore the con concepts, concept, content, and the lyrics, the themes in this song, how I'm showing how structures, how I'm showing the structures, how time, the timekeeper's taken away and then brought back in, and how it's a reflection of the point of the band's concepts and tying into a sense of time, loss of time, not having a sense to say, to go, say goodbye, things of that nature. So I hope that this was informative as far as this song goes, our time was taken. The remaining two songs, it's going to be very similar, but a little different in how I approach that. Um, but again, those are continued exploration of the themes. And essentially, you know, how they all come together to form the whole of the EP. So I think that's all I have for today, for Our Time Was Taken. But stay tuned for the last two songs. And... Yeah, I guess that's it. So I guess I will be in touch with you guys soon. Stay tuned for the next two videos. Thanks again.